Adam Savage here, this time with a new one day build for my touring show Brain Candy that hits the road in just a few weeks with Michael Stevens from Vsauce. Uh, one of the things that we're going to have in the show are these, some ping pong balls. Um, I don't want to tell you exactly what we're going to do with them because we're going to use them in a few different ways. We're going to use them to illustrate some concepts. We're going to perhaps shoot some of them. And that's what today's One Day Build is about. I have always, always, always wanted to make a gun that shoots ping pong balls. I know we did this on Mythbusters and we shot them incredibly fast. No, the kind of gun that I want to build is a ping pong machine gun. Now, you don't know this about me, but I have been interested in making a ping pong machine gun since I was 15 years old. I made an art project in high school of a gun that shot a ping pong ball and I thought, wouldn't it be great boom, 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 if it shot a whole bunch of them? So that's what I'm going to make. Now I'm going to use air pressure to do it. And the air pressure that I found was this, a beautiful leaf blower, cordless leaf blower powdered by a uh, 20 volt lithium ion battery. Yes, that's exactly what that is. Now I have already modified this. I know I did some homework while you guys weren't looking. Um, I took a giant chunk of nylon I had, I cut the handle of the leaf blower. It's meant to be operated like this and I turned it into a trigger. So it has more of a gun like appearance at this point. Yeah. So of course you know the next thing I'm gonna do is this. Oh yeah. So let's go through it. Whoa! Ping pong machine gun. All right, so we actually have my tenure on Mythbusters to thank for some of the materials in this build. I kept some of the good stuff that I built. That was my prerogative. Um, but again, I wanna fire more than once. So I'm going to use a gravity feed magazine and it's gonna be this one. I'm going too far, I'm starting too far. That's exactly how much I wanna do. Um, the ping pong balls are actually, I believe, I believe these are left over from when we raised a boat from the bottom of Monterey Bay low those many years ago on the same show. Um, so in order to make this gravity feed, so picture this will be filled with ping pong balls. It will be, okay, it will be like this here. Um, and then there will, yeah, it's not gonna be this barrel. It's gonna be this barrel. So in fact, this barrel will mount to the front of my leaf blower. Uh, and I'll have a release mechanism for the ping pong ball so they can feed one at a time, funk, 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 into the barrel and fire. It shouldn't be that complex. Um, all I need to do right now is to uh, uh, cut this piece of pipe so it fits and glues nicely over this. That'll allow me to attach a magazine that I can then remove uh, and then work out the release mechanism and work out the attachment mechanism for uh, going from this wide opening to this narrow opening. Okay, I've illustrated verbally what I think I'm gonna do. Let's do it. So I wanna glue this piece of pipe to this piece of pipe and I'm gonna do it by cutting exactly this radius hole in the end of this. I'm gonna do it on my milling machine. Um, this is gonna be tricky. I am, PVC is a shatterable material. I'm using a Forstner bit on the mill so I can keep everything really rigid and it shouldn't chatter, but nonetheless, I'm still gonna go very slow and I'm gonna use, I think, maybe some water as cooling fluid. Lock, lock. There we go. Ah. I have been reading your comments. I know you think I should wear a face shield more often, and this is a perfect opportunity for me to wear a face shield. Give me just a sec. This is really cool because I'm actually really excited about this face shield. Um, maybe you're like me and you watch the flawed but amazing and beautiful uh, uh, TV show Westworld. Um, I was compelled by the face shields that the op that the 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 the. the uh, the technicians use when they're operating on the hosts. And I surmise that it must be a product and it sure enough is, it's made by Ray Gear. Um, and it is a clear polycarbonate face shield that I think is a freaking masterpiece. I know it makes my voice sound a little bit funny, but um, as far as full coverage, where it doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything, this thing is freaking awesome. Okay.
Going good. Ah. I want finer control right now than this will give me, so I'm starting to move the knee upwards. Well, it seemed we got a little grippy, but nothing shattered, so I'm cautiously optimistic. Uh-huh, all right. That is totally salvageable. I can make this work. Oh, yeah. Let's see here. Perfection. That looks absolutely like what I wanted. That one was dented. Oh. All right, let's try. Oh. Good, good, good. Room to move. I love it. Okay. So. PVC has this great quality in that it glues very quickly. The PVC glue is a solvent that melts it, so it's a weld bond. And just like a weld, the two pieces become one. Pretty sure that's the case. I, I could actually be wrong. It is a strong smell coming off the PVC glue. I will tell you that. All right, I'm gonna let this set for a bit. Meanwhile, I'm gonna peel some of these letters off. That's a good thing to do while I'm waiting. All right, that's the last of the vinyl lettering. The aesthetics are always really important. Um, now my trick is to uh, mount or to adapt this bad boy to this bad boy. So first and foremost, I think we can, there we go, and pull that out. That's good. I like a removable barrel, so I'm gonna utilize this, um, but not much of it, just, just, just enough of it. So I'm gonna slice that right about there. All right, I'm gonna take a look at my stock here. Ah, uh, yeah. I knew I had it. Uh. <laughs> Young makers, you have no idea how good it is now with the internet. Back when I was a young maker, I had to go to stores and say, do you have big chunks of Delrin? And they would say no, because you had to go find that stuff through catalogs and figure out where to order it from. And now if you need small chunks of material, you can buy them on eBay. I bought this um, six inch round of Delrin or Acetyl, my favorite machining plastic on eBay um, for like the weight of the plastic. It's not that expensive. I buy my aluminum, my Delrin, my rubber chunks and acrylic and other stuff like that often on eBay where people have taken off cuts or end cuts uh, and are selling it relatively cheap, cheaply. So I'm gonna use this piece of Delrin to go from here to here. And I'm actually going to, uh, to uh, feather the edge so that the air doesn't hit the stop and create vortices. I want a smooth transition of air. That actually matters. I'm really gonna use this whole thing? Yeah, I think I am. I think that's totally reasonable. Okay, here we go. All right, so I'm gonna be spinning a big heavy chunk at a very high speed on this lathe, and that's always a little bit fraught, so you, I wanna move very slowly and methodically. Luckily, my chuck, while it doesn't look quite big enough to accommodate this, has reversible jaws, so each of these three jaws can go 180, and that will allow me to grab this, as I already have for another project. 
Um, my very first task will be to drill a hole all the way through it and start to remove material to make it lighter. Um, again, I'm going to move slowly and methodically so that uh, I don't uh, end up having this grab any of my tools because if this flies, it's bad. All right, first, reverse the jaws. There we go. That is one big freaking adapter. Woo! <laughs> now we put it on the gun. I want. down a little bit. All right, here we go. Oh, that's, that's lining up nicely. All right, let's see here. Let's see how this does. Hold on. Oh! I think that was important. I think something important just happened there. Okay, um, I really want to fire this gun, but I actually need to build a test bed platform for it first so that it actually gets upright, because I don't want to be holding it and figuring out how it operates all at the same time. So let me take a couple pieces of wood and figure out how to do that. Oh, glorious. There we go. Good. Great, look at that. There we go. Now we can start to operate stuff. Okay, so, so then this guy. Right. There's where we'll fire. That's better. Good. And now you see how this is going, right? <laughs> now I'm getting a little maniacal. This is getting fun. All right, there we go. Oh, fascinating. Eight, nine, ten. Let's do ten shots. Oh. 
they all came out the top. We need to cover the top. I'm pausing right now because I feel a little dumb. That's why. It'll pass. It's over. Let's shoot some ping pong balls. Huh. Oh, right, of course. Duh. <laughs> This, 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 this is gonna be awesome. All right, here we go. All right, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twenty-four. Twenty-four. That's a nice number. Twenty-four is a really good number. You ready? There we go. And three, two, one. Come on! Are you kidding? Come on. Oh! <laughs> ah, that's a problem. The air coming out here is a problem. That was very promising though. Don't you, wouldn't you agree? I would agree. I would agree with that. That was very promising. The thing about an NPT thread, that stands for National Pipe Threads, is that it's tapered so that um, it can lock. And that taper means that you've got to tap all the way to the bottom of the tap. And I get impatient and I always think it's going to work without me doing that, but I'm always wrong. All right, so now you've figured it out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring a little bit of auxiliary air that's coming out of the leaf blower and I'm sending it into the top of the magazine so that it pushes the balls down. I have no idea if this is gonna work, but it seems like I was getting a little blowback from that hole when I first drilled it and that that may provide just enough pressure to move these puppies downwards. Plus, Looks even cooler. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Go! Ah, success! <laughs> Boo! So there you have it. Today's one day build was the fulfillment of a childhood dream of mine to have brrr, a ping pong machine gun. Now I have some more kinks to work out and a few special modifications to make, but those are secret. In order to find out what those are, you're just gonna have to come out and see our live show. Michael Stevens and I, Brain Candy Live. The website is braincandylive.com. I will see you on the road. Brrr. It's really anticlimactic. See you on the road. And we are rolling. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Go! <laughs> Success! <laughs> oh, that was awesome! Brrr.